Hi friends, it's Tracy from the Financial Freedom Diary and today we are back to do my week three check-in for the month of January. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing below. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed and have been hanging out with me for the long run. I appreciate each and every last one of you so much. Now, I hope your week went well. I need to zoom you guys in a little bit because I think I'm out a little bit too far. Um, so you can see my transactions. But yeah, this week has been a busy one for me. But thank y'all for being so patient. And I was able to get all my content out. Yay! But let me zoom in right quick. Okay, I think I'm in a little bit tighter. But not too close. So... I was kind of shocked when I came back through. I had to double check my receipts to make sure this is all I did last week. Um, last Sunday, I did my laundry. I broke a 10. I went to Walmart. And in groceries, I spent $18.47. And at Aldi, in groceries, I spent $30.77. Now, when I made these purchases and I walked out of the store, I was like, girl, you forgot something. <laughs> something, right? Um, but I was with my son, so, you know, I can't do a lot of damage when he's around. Because he doesn't, like, they don't shop. They go in, they buy what they want, but they don't do what I do, which is kind of browse and look around. They don't do all that stuff, so I had to hurry up. <laughs> um, so, let's see, groceries, 18 point four seven plus thirty point seven seven is forty nine dollars and twenty four cents was the total I spent in groceries and I had quite a few things still left in my pantry so I didn't need to buy as much um, eating has been going very well I've been doing really good um, I think I'm getting close to breaking the what you call it, the snacking that I do all the time. It's not as bad now. So I am able to turn on and turn off. Mornings are probably the worst when I break my fast. That is the worst for me as far as switching off. But once I get busy with work, um, I tend to stop eating at that point. Let's see, I got my week three so let me stick this up here cool thing is i'll have enough lines to finish out this month on this page that's always a concern when it's five weeks in a month that i'm going to run on lines but anyway not even sure why i hopped over there but you can tell i'm a little bit add so last week i had 183 dollars left over See, 183 and I spent $49.24. So I should have $133.76. And I apologize, you guys. I'm a little bit stopped up today. So a lot of mouth breathing because <laughs> my nose ain't working. 100, 120, 130, 131, 2, okay three and four so I have a hundred and thirty four dollars left and I don't count my change the goal is when I get in the store I try to use my change regardless of the category so I don't really count that from one week to the next I just try to use it when I go in the grocery store or whatever I'm doing at that time so restaurants I still have forty dollars no team building events so I think we're gonna have something coming up soon I wonder if I got that is that my son's I bet you it's my son's that's my son's money he gave me some money to buy something at the grocery store I didn't give him his change y'all <laughs> Happy to get that boy his change back. Uh, laundry. Totally forgot it. He never said anything. 
Um, I left off with $35. I spent $10, so I should have $25. But yeah, I better give him back his money. Weird things. He never said anything. Household. I had $17 last week. So 10, 15, 16, 17. Still there. And personal. I had $45 from last week. 20, 45. So I have $45 left over. There. So I have all of my money. There, everything's put back up. So this week I did better. I think there's something about the getting closer to the end of the month that kind of slaps me around. And plus, um, my son was with me. So these past two weeks, they weren't with me, but my oldest son came with me because he needed some stuff. So yeah, <laughs> keeps me out of trouble. So I have 134. I'm gonna budget another $60 for groceries next week. Restaurants I'm budgeting zero. Laundry, I'm budgeting 10. Kind of feel like I need to go 15. But I'm gonna just wing it with 10. Household, I don't think I need anything. I think we have everything. Uh personal, I don't need anything for show. Sure. But show for show. So there, that's my budget for next week for my cash envelope spending. Just two categories, groceries and laundry. So let's see if we can do another week three again. That'd be nice. Um, now let's track my no spend days. For some reason I have two here and six there. I'm going to go with this. Let me stop. <laughs> so, my expenses that have cleared this week. I paid my quarterly taxes on the 15th. It actually cleared my um, Capital One account on the 19th. Um, Fed loan has cleared this week. You guys, I broke 40K. I'm under 40K officially. I got a survey from Fed Loan asking me how they can improve their site. And I'm like, you could update our balances the day you actually take the money out of our accounts. That would be nice. You know, instead of waiting so many days, like they didn't get paid when they already had. Stop playing. <laughs> Stop playing. All right. But yeah, I was pretty much home this week. I got some new projects and I'm on call. So the rule for on call is that once somebody calls with an issue, you have about 30 minutes to get yourself set up to troubleshoot. And so I don't like to be out for long periods of time when I have to be on call. And my on-call rotation actually moved because someone on the on-call team is sick. And so her treatments were starting. And so she wasn't sure she was going to be well. So I took hers and my co-worker, he's going to take two. But yeah, so I've been home, but I've been handling on-call tickets and stuff like that. So what a week, you know. So that is six for this week. And let's see, that's trying to make sure it's six across every week because my eyes are playing tricks on me. <laughs> so it's 18, 19, 20. So I have 20 so far. Let me know how you guys are going with your no spend days. Now, if you're new to my channel and you don't know how I do my no spend days, I do them a little bit differently than other people do the goal for me is to stay out of the store period um, so I try to do everything 
that needs to be done on a Sunday. I know I'm a very impatient person. I don't like long lines and therefore I try to do things on one day because I like to shop and anytime I'm just wandering around in the store, it never makes it it's never a situation where I just walk in and walk out empty handed. I always come out with something. So for me, it's like, can I spend the rest of the time not being in the store? Now, I will admit the pandemic has made this a whole lot easier <laughs> because I'm not trying to mix and mingle and um, any of that other stuff. So I try to do everything here. And so I try to work as quickly as I possibly can, get back home, take care of stuff around the house, cooking, cleaning, things like that, and trying to get some rest. So I'm geared up on Monday. But yeah, let me know how you guys did with your no spend days. How has your, you know, your cash envelope spending or your virtual envelope spending, how has that gone? Um, because yeah, this month is almost over. I'm almost off the call. I think if I don't count today, I have nine days, eight days. Yeah, eight, because that's seven. There's seven days in a week. <laughs> seven plus the one is eight. Today is nine. So, yeah, I'll be off call and I can get some rest, a good night's rest. But you guys have a super fantastic morning, afternoon, and evening. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe to my channel, please consider doing so. I will talk to you guys on Sunday. We need to budget my YouTube earnings. Bye, y'all. Y'all have a great one.